Nowhere more than in Turkey is so much of the world's story contained within the borders of a single country. Turkey, which was Asia Minor, history's bridge, Europe's East Asia's Western gate. Two thousand BC, the Hittites march from the east, ending the Bronze Age with a stroke from their curved iron swords, supreme in Asia Minor for a thousand years. Then, from the west, the beaching of boats and the cries of a new language, the first Greeks, the heroes of Homer, who will destroy first Troy and then the Hittites, and make these coasts a cradle of classical art. Ionia, Lydia, Aeolia, names like chords struck on a lyre, And as Greece declines, Rome rises to make Asia Minor her proudest province. Fifteen centuries of Greece and Rome, coastal Turkey is a carpet of their ruined cities. Ephesus, a street runs down to the harbour, long silted up, where Roman galleys dropped anchor from Paphos and from Antioch. From such a ship, among the pilgrims jostling to the temple of Diana, there walked a Jew, Saul of Tarsus. The Acts of the Apostles had begun. Peter and Paul, John and Luke, preached and wrote and the first seven churches of the Christian world were founded in what today is Turkey. Cappadocia, central Turkey, the chimneys of Gereme, the 60 strangest miles this side of the moon. Horns and cones of stone eroded by rain and wind to weirdest symmetry. Gereme is something more than a marvel of nature. The stone spires are honeycombed with hermit cells, whole monasteries, 400 churches and chapels hand-carved from the soft rock. This is the marvel within the marble. Constantinople, head and heart of the Byzantine Empire, the great, the God-defended city, where the Bosphorus meets the Golden Horn, where Europe meets Asia, where the classical and Christian, 
the two influences which will form the West come together at last. But far across the Asian plains, where ruined caravanserais now lie along the ancient camel routes, a new word, unheard before in Europe, sounds insistently as a drum, the Turk. The West strikes back. Four crusades to retake the Holy Land and a chain of castles guarding hard-won gains. In the name of the Catholic faith, I hold this place. Now their proud devices gather moss on castle walls where Europe's chivalry once watched towards Syria. But the Crusades failed. Again the Turk tightens the ring, until the power of the once great emperor, heir to the Caesars, ends at the walls of the capital itself. Seven weeks siege. At last, through the smoke and shouting, the Turkish victory is emerging. For the defenders, the last hours of the ancient world are running out. On the 29th of May, 1453, Constantinople falls. Now the second Rome becomes a second Mecca. The sultans crown their new capital with domes buoyant as bubbles and minarets slim as a lance. With the conquest begins the great surge of Ottoman power. The empire will stretch from the Yemen to the Danube, from the Crimea to the Atlantic. The sultan, lord of the black, red and white seas, holds counsel at the sublime port, and Europe quakes. The 16th is a Turkish century. But the leather saddle has become the golden throne. The sweet city has seduced the once hardy Ottomans, as it did the Greeks before them. Yet still, in kiosks and palaces by the Bosphorus, the peacock life persists. The frontiers are crumbling. 1922, Ataturk. Henceforward, a new Turkey opens her gates to the west. Today, for those who drive to Turkey, here and there is the new caravanserai. In Turkey there is something of everything. Persia and Palestine, Greece and Italy rolled into one. An untouched past in an unspoilt present. Nature and history in unbeatable combination. These thermal baths are Roman, and the same springs, bubbling hot from the hill, spill down to form the calcified cascades of Pamukkale.
Turkey offers warm blue sea and sunlit beaches. So do many other countries. But where else, at the height of the season, do they look like this? We have seen the past. What of the living Turkey? What now of the city of Constantine the Great and Suleiman the Magnificent, the city of two continents, yesterday's Constantinople and today's Istanbul? Gözlüm senin elden Mühür gözlüm seni elden Sakınırım, kıskanırım Uçan kuştan ve sen yelden Sakınırım, kıskanırım Uçan kuştan ve sen yelden Sakınırım, kıskanırım Kavimimden akrabanla Kavimimden akrabandan, kardeşimden, öz babandan. 